Hello everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, your man from MoviePix and author of the MoviePix Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements 2025, looking at a kind of cool new feature in the program. Now, combined photos has existed in the past as a guided edit, but in the newest version of the program, it's also available under the image menu, Combined Photos. And it's been modified a little bit, a little more efficient, a little more automatic for better or for worse, but it's a tool for combining the foreground of one picture with the background of another picture. I'm going to use as my foreground the little boy in the Spider-Man costume, and for the background I'm going to use this picture of downtown someplace that I downloaded from Adobe Stock. Take advantage of Adobe Stock. It's included in the program, it's integrated in the program. You can find a lot of stock photography that you can use freely in your photo and video projects, so I encourage you to look at Adobe Stock. That said, with these two photos open, I'm going over to the image menu and selecting combined photos. And now we have a two layer photo where the background layer is downtown and the foreground layer or the top layer is our spider boy. We can modify its aspect ratio or make it any shape we want by selecting the options here on the right. And we can select any of these presets here for any social media site. I'm going to leave it as it is right now. And once I'm ready to actually start the editing, I go down to the Edit tab right down here in the lower right hand corner of the program. And I can either extract the object manually by selecting that option and then choosing the object using various selection tools to get a very precise selection and then we'll cut away the background or I can select Remove Background in which case the program will do that automatically. But let's go ahead and select Remove Background and see what it does. It should automatically locate the boy as Spider Boy and then cut away the background. Now this is nice, although it has removed some things I'd like to keep and it has uh, left in some things I'd like to get rid of. That's why you have these little hide and reveal paint brushes here on the side. So let's go ahead and select hide because right here on the boy's face, I'm gonna control plus or command plus to zoom in on his face hold down the space bar so I can drag the picture into position and then I can paint over the elements that I don't want included in my picture. Very good. He also just seems to be floating in space here so I'm going to select reveal and paint back in some of the things that the uh, automatic remove background tool removed. That's kind of nice that they aren't permanently removed you can paint them back in and I'm going to paint in the little concrete wall that he's standing on or perched on. Maybe a little bit of the wall behind him. I probably revealed too much here, but that's okay. I can paint back in and remove things if I'd like. So let's go ahead and finish out the wall. I'll switch over to hide and paint away part of the wall. So what we're doing essentially is removing and adding a mask. We haven't actually removed any of the picture. That's good enough for now. Uh, we haven't actually removed any of the picture at this point, but we've got a real nice composition of Spider Boy in the background downtown. And I can click done, but once I click done, I can't go back. So this is a mask at this point, but once I click done, it's going to permanently remove elements. I won't be able to get them back again. That's a strange update they've made to this particular tool. I'm not entirely happy about it because it means that you can't go back and fix anything once you've crossed this fail safe point. But let's go ahead and click done because I think we got a pretty nice composition. Pretty good, we've got Spider Boy in here. We've got the background of downtown, but one thing that's missing is this Spider Boy is not quite the right color tone for this background. We have a background that was shot at sunset or magic hour right after sunset. There are a lot of blues in there and purples and reds. Spider Boy here was shot during midday, so he's got a lot of yellows in him. The colors aren't quite right, Fortunately, if you look down in the lower right hand corner and click on that tab, you can match color tone. There's an automatic color tone matching tool built into this particular workspace. Let's click on that. Just take a second and it'll modify Spider Boy. There he is. So he fits a little more naturally into the background. I don't think that's quite right there. 
I think the luminance is a little bit high, so I'm going to drag down the luminance control. And now he looks a little more naturally blended into the background. Maybe I'll bring up luminance just a tad, make him a little bit brighter. And now it looks like a more natural picture, a natural composition between the two pictures. But it's a very cool tool, especially for creating these kind of composites. You have the option also to blend two elements to create something more creative, a little more abstract than this too, if you'd like. But in all, a pretty cool tool. Now, if you want to know more about all the tools here in Photoshop Elements, I hope you'll check out the Movie Picks Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. I've written the book. It's available on Amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.